Okay, I'm just trying out the underwater photo pole, and here is a, uh, a Pacific Graceful Crab. Uh, a lot of people mistake these for juvenile Dungeness. A really big one only grows about four inches, and they have more of a purplish tint to them than the Dungeness. A lot of sportsmen mistake them for juvenile Dungeness when they're uh, crabbing. Also, the claws are different. The Dungeness have a black tip on their claws, and these guys don't. <coughs> the currents in Pickering Passage run pretty doggone fast. That's the passage between Harstein Island and the mainland. There's some kind of a strange spider crab. Don't think I've seen one quite like that before. Really uh, strange round shape. And now the current's got me in. It's uh, taken me down the passage. Getting a pretty good tidal surge here. The, uh, the waters of Pickering Passage can move up to four knots on the really major tide cycles. And it's an interesting tide flow. It actually flows the opposite direction that you think it should. If you look at the navigation charts, it's it doesn't go the shortest route to the ocean. It actually flows away from the ocean for a while before it turns around and goes back. And a great big multi-arm starfish. Those can grow to horrendous size down here in South Sound. And now the current has really got a hold of me and I'm ripping down the passage headed towards the bridge. Now here's a lion's mane jellyfish. I was reading an article that these are uh, uh, multiplying to plague proportions along the coast of Norway. They're a worldwide northern species. And they are one of the stingingest son of a guns there is. You do not want to get up close and personal with one of these guys. I made the mistake of doing that a long time ago when I was a little kid. There's the fried egg jellyfish, which used to be the most common variety here in Puget Sound. You can see why they're called fried eggs. There's almost got both of them at the same time. And another little moon jelly drifting across in front, little white guy. These things usually uh, occur in the areas where plankton is very rich, which is why the water is so cloudy. There's uh, plenty, of, plenty for them to eat in this particular area. Now this lion's mane has either got his tentacles retracted or something bit half of them off. There are things in the ocean that do eat these guys. Mother Nature's own lava lamp. And you can see the hull of my boat up there on the left. Another moon jelly and uh, the lion's mane again.
is find something fascinating about the way these things move. They're pretty much at the mercy of the tides. And they do get washed up on the beach every so often. Their maneuvering ability is limited. Limited. Ha! Huh. My goodness. This guy has really long tentacles. Now here the uh, the camera actually brushes through the tentacles. Uh, I certainly am glad that it's on a steel pole, not steel, but an aluminum pole, and uh, not being handheld because otherwise I'd have one hell of a burning arm. And as he disappears off into the murk. Back to the surface just off the shore of Harstein Island. Now here's a couple red rock crab mating. Uh, there's a huge size discrepancy in uh, red rock crab male and female. Now, the males may grow up to uh, about seven inches across, a really big one, and the uh, females only grow to about four inches. And uh, another Pacific graceful crab creeping around the bottom there, doing his thing. Another big red rock crab. Decide he didn't want any part of the whole picture thing. Hey, watch it. Look out. Get that camera out of here. Doggone tourist. Get out of here. Ugh. Jeez, what a crab. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Now the uh, whole bottom, uh, this one stretch of Pickering Passage is just covered with these uh, pink starfish. Man, there's just millions of them. It's, uh, no wonder there aren't any clams left in this stretch. I have seen the commercial oyster guys, you know, the commercial shellfish crews going along and pitchforking these things into the boat and then throwing them up into the forest and try to keep their numbers under control because they raid the uh, commercial shellfish farms. Oh, that looks like uh, there's a sea anemone. Looks like that's about it from under Pickering Passage today. This was the initial test of the photo pole.